This is a really difficult video that I haven't known how to make for a while, and I'm assuming that most people are going to hate it or misunderstand it, but I have to do it anyways. Hi, I'm Mugthief, or as my comment section says, Weird Al Yankovic's little cousin. Today I want to talk about console wars and negativity and how that impacts things and why there's so much of it. In a way, this video is for me to fully process my ideas about the insanity that we are living in. It's not some big revelation that extremes tend to attract people. People want to be on a side, feel hugged by a community like they belong and all of their ideals are supported. And the middle ground is never really well received. Trying to look at both positions and find logical arguments for things, people don't like that. People much prefer just taking one side and holding on to it. Of course, that applies more to things like the political spectrum or supporting certain takes or people. Fence sitting has quite a history on YouTube as something that people don't like, but I never thought that it was something that could be applied to console game. But I feel like that's where we are. The key difference is, of course, it doesn't matter what console a game is for, it's still a game. You can still like it or not, you can still think it's good or bad, and just because it's on one console or another has no influence on those things. But still, we seem to apply this mentality to consoles. And to a certain degree, I get it, we're just applying the same logic to everything, so just pick a side. This is not new. But I do think that in the last couple of years, it's reached an extreme that I have never seen. And particularly this year, with Xbox buying out Activision Blizzard King, just become a trending topic. It's become something that everybody does. And every conversation about a console exclusive or an acquisition or a new game is always immediately inundated by console war hatred. Now, hopefully it doesn't look like it, but I've been around for a long time. And I honestly don't remember this to this level. I don't remember console wars being this extreme. I remember them being more balanced. Yes, there have always been really aggressive takes and people arguing and fighting about things. That has always happened. I always remember kind of a similar amount of hate and also an amount of envy, right? Of like, damn, I really think Halo looks cool. I wanna play that. Or man, I'm so jealous of Metal Gear Solid 4. There were always people saying, I don't wanna play cutscene simulator, but I felt like the discourse was not as prevalent and also had more nuance to it. There were more people saying more things. Now it's just like constant vitriol all of the time. Of course, I'm talking from a feeling. I cannot quantify this. I cannot confirm it. I don't have an Excel spreadsheet showing you, you know, amount of console war hatred in 2006 versus 2023. This is just my experience. And I've thought that it could be influenced by algorithms, which of course show us things that make our blood boil because that's good engagement. But as a, I guess, content creator, I get a ton of comments on my own videos on all the platforms that I post videos on and they are all filled with hatred. Anytime I talk about an Xbox or a PlayStation exclusive, there's just a ton of hate. And even if you pick a side for a non-controversial reason, like I've done recently by saying that I want Starfield to be good, however, I think it's smart to wait for reviews and not pre-order because we never know. And I've tried to cover some of the things that have happened around Starfield in a more neutral, objective light with hesitance, but optimism. And my comment section are people telling me that I'm mad because the game isn't on PlayStation or people telling me that I'm an x bot and I'm defending the game and when it's indefensible. Which to me is really funny as a PC gamer, but it has made me question many things, primarily Am I just a bad communicator? Am I just not getting my point across? Or what I hope is more likely, people literally don't watch the video and just scream because they're already decided on what their posture is. And if they see anything that potentially could not agree with them, even if it does actually agree with them, they're just gonna scream the same set of insults and move on. And these are video games. These aren't presidential candidates. You tweet something out and Immediately, there's an avalanche of responses of people just 
fanboying. The first thing you receive is people arguing beneath you, and they have great arguments, such as the game is going to be bad because it's going to be bad. And for the sake of argument, right, we're talking about Starfield in this specific case, but I think it's something that's been happening over the last years. Let's say you do have arguments to suspect that the game is going to be bad, or you do have valid criticism. When they have well thought out logical criticisms, right? I think the game could be bad because of this. Their messages don't end with, but let's wait for reviews and see, I hope it's good. It always ends with things like, and that's why it's gonna fail. Star fail, hope you suck. Enjoy your trash game. Spider-Man logo emoji. I don't know if that exists, but probably something like that. Or the equivalent on the other side. Don't get me wrong. Why do you want the game to be bad? Why? I just, I can. If you enjoy video games, if you're in the hobby of playing video games, don't you want all video games to be the best they can be? Don't you want it to be great, even if it's not for you, to be great for the people who do want to play it? Isn't that what we all want? Oh, but it's a console exclusive, so I'm not going to play it unless I have to buy another console. What's the problem? If the game is good and you weren't going to play it, you just don't play it. And if the game is good, you're not f obligated to go out and buy a console or build a PC to play an exclusive. You can just wait. You'll play it down the line. You'll play it on a different console someday. It's fine. Why are you wishing for the game to be bad? I, I, and I know, I understand it. Because if the game is good, you get mad because you don't play it, right? You cannot play it. And that makes you mad. But like, what compels you that your attitude on the internet, the way that you look at this and phrase this, is screaming at other people with nonsense stuff and getting into these absolutely insane console fanboy wars everywhere. The saddest part for me is that I kind of understand a lot of the console fanboy wars that happened before because a lot of the people that were involved in it were kids. We were kids or we were on our first jobs and had low income and it, it was a hobby, but I know for a fact that a lot of the people that are participating in this are grown as adults. So you got older and decided to make your behavior stupider? What is this? A lot of people might tell me, well, you say this because you can play all games. It's, it's your job or something. It's not my job. I'm, I'm nobody. But that makes me even angrier that there are people whose entire job is to cover video games. People that are way bigger than me, right? People that are just massive. And they are very clearly like console bias, right? They will throw shade at the opposing side, prop up what is considered to be their side. They don't have this problem. They have the time and the money to cover everything fairly as games, irrespective of if they're on a certain product or not. So the reason that they do this is obviously because it's better to build a fan base, to just choose a side and then stick with it. Because as I'm finding out myself, if you try and be neutral or if you try and not pick a side, both sides can end up attacking you. And the worst part of it all is that we live currently, right now, in the most hyper-capitalist version of this society that we've ever had. It's straight up bad for a lot of people. The situation is really tough in a lot of different countries. So I understand that on one hand, because the money is scarce, right? if you made the investment that you're going on one platform or another, for whatever reason it may be, you want to defend that platform because you want to defend that purchase that you made with an amount of money that is dwindling every month, right? We just make less money every month. Everything is a little bit more expensive. But I just view it from the other side. So what you're doing is fighting message board wars for enormous, absolutely gigantic, multi-billion dollar corporations that make pieces of plastic for you to play video games on. What are you doing out there defending Microsoft or Sony? Or saying that one console is better than the other? Or bragging about sales as if you're a shareholder? What's the, ho what's the point in this? You can't tell me that what you're arguing about is games. Because if you were arguing about games, you would have to give credit where it's due, and you would not be wishing the worst on the other side's products. You wouldn't want Starfield to be bad. You would want it to be the best it can be and to satisfy 
all of the things that all of the people that want to play it want from it. And the people who don't have a PS5 would be talking about how they hope that Spider-Man 2, despite having the same map and the same characters, can innovate and present new systems that make the game very engaging for players. That all of the things that we haven't seen are going to be incredible, and even if they aren't the best, the gameplay is already so solid that the game will probably rock anyways, right? That's what we would be doing if we cared about the games. Because look, this thing is simple. I want people to play video games, and I want people to enjoy those video games. I want people to enjoy video games as a reprieve. I want them to be able to sit down and enjoy happiness, which is what I get when I sit down and play a good video game. Life is hard. Life is difficult. There's so many things in life that are just incredibly difficult. And every year it seems like things are getting worse, right? We keep talking about how it's getting worse, about how the younger generations have it worse than we've had for so long. So I love being able to sit down in front of a good video game and just forgetting about some of that stuff and just smiling and being immersed and forgetting about the rest of the world for a little bit, going like, damn, this is cool, I love this. That's what I want. I want to be able to do that as much as possible. And I want everybody who's into this hobby to be able to do that as much as possible. I don't care if you're a PC gamer, if you exclusively play on the new Nintendo 2DS. I want, well, I guess that one doesn't get new games, but it doesn't matter what your platform is. I just want you to have access to great video games that you will enjoy. That's all I care about. And I think that if we're ever supposed to be, you know, grouped up into the term gamers as an actual community, it should be a much more positive community. It shouldn't be the worst it's ever been, in my opinion, when it comes to this console fanboy vitriol being spouted everywhere for no reason. And if you just log in on Twitter and check any personality that has said anything about Starfield, they either are instigating the console war fanboyism or are immediately a victim to it in the first replies. We shouldn't be doing this. This is dumb. We should want games to be the best they can be, always. And we should want people to enjoy them as much as possible, always. That's what I think. But then again, I'm obviously stupid. And not many people are gonna watch this video because I'm just too tired to like maximize the reach of it. And if it did, it would just be filled with comments of people telling me that I'm either on one side of the console space, whichever one they don't like, because I'm saying something in general that they don't like, and it would be disliked to heck and back. Because that's how these things work right now, and I'm so disappointed with this, this discourse is happening, and trying to even understand why it's happening is just beyond me. Anyways, if you did actually like the video, please hit the like button. If you agree with some of the things I said in the video, please subscribe. Leaving a comment helps the algo, and if you don't have anything to say, say Vincent Algo. That's the true support message right there. I have an Armored Core 6 review coming up, a Blasphemous 2 review coming up, and a ton of content on Starfield. So, stick around for that. I hope it's entertaining, informative, and something you enjoy. I've been Mug Thief, and as always, I will see you on the internet.